He goes, well, let's just cancel the rest of the tour. When mainstream media pe- picked up the article was Christian Comedian cancels his tour amidst allegations. So if I wouldn't have acknowledged it, it would have just, I canceled and then Netflix pulled the special because I canceled my tour. Okay. So it was kind of a domino effect. I mean, they canceled your your keynote speaking engagements, your comedy no, tour, I, your book. I canceled them. You canceled all of those? Yes. Did no, you cancel okay. the Netflix? No. Okay, so what happened was they said, we're going to have this, this article is going to come out tomorrow, right? So the article came out, and um, my manager at the time asked me if I wanted to tour that weekend. And keep in mind, I was touring in churches. Mm-hmm. Nowhere but church. At the time, I was about 70% churches. I was doing theaters too. Okay. But mostly churches. So 70% of your business and your livelihood. Yeah. So they go, and I, but I also had a Netflix special coming out that Thanksgiving. And uh, I was on the late night show that was coming up that was all about to be released. And then uh, my book was also coming out. So it's it kind of the perfect storm for them to come cancel somebody right when they're doing something. Mm hmm. Of value, which, by the way, every time I've done something of value since, that's the only time those these people come out of the woodworks. When you you have a new comedy special, you release a tour, you sign a book deal, that's when those same people come out. Every time you do something of note, mm-hmm. they appear, which is ironic. But so the article is going to come out, and my manager at the time said, do you want to tour this weekend? So I had shows, I was about to go on the road. And I was in so much shame. And I was so, I mean, everybody was calling me. This, that, this article was everywhere, everywhere. And I was either going to have to address it on stage or, and I said, I don't want to, I don't want to tour this weekend. And then, so my manager, which all these choices were wrong in hindsight. He goes, well, let's just cancel the rest of the tour. It was probably Thanksgiving, and we had another month of the tour or something like that. And so all the when the when mainstream media picked up the article was Christian comedian cancels his tour amidst allegations. So if I wouldn't have acknowledged it, it would have just I canceled, and then Netflix pulled the special because I canceled my tour. Okay. So it was kind of a domino effect because I and I put a in that article I put a statement in it because I was so scared and it was it was like a tabloid. Yeah, I fueled that fire and I didn't even know what was in the article. You, you, okay, so you yeah because I was an so felt so guilty from the I go I admit I've I've done wrong and I need to clean up my life and I've been making some poor choices that don't honor God or whatever. I don't remember what the statement was, but I don't even know what the article and reading the article, you're like, Oh, there's nothing in, there's nothing of significance in here, man. So we, we were just so scared that we, we, it was like bad management choices. And, but I was just in a terrible place and I look back and I'm not, I've been sober since that day. And I'm in a relationship with a woman that I love, and and I'm honest and healthy, and so. And my career is now bigger than it was before. Mm-hmm. So it's easier. Let's just say it's easier to forgive. But there's also been people that that has happened to, and they never have a chance to return. Mm-hmm. And I understand why they're upset because you can't just you can say whatever you want about somebody on the internet, especially if it's around sex. That is, it's a death sentence. Yeah. You go, oh, so and so accused of doesn't matter that it gets dropped in court two years later, and that you know that uh, Trevor Bauer, the baseball player, and that punter for the Bills, both got accused of things and fired 
from their jobs with sexual things, fired, cut from the team. And it's now been proven that they, they weren't even in the same building and in the same room. And it's like, well, he's the guy that, yeah. Did I still, I still carry around that people to, to this day. And most people don't know or care. That's why my shows are, are bigger than they were before. But you still carry around that reputation yeah. of your past. Yeah. It, it, uh, man, I just, <clears throat> I think that, do you think that's going away? Yeah. No, it, it, yeah. I mean, it just happened to, it, it's so, it happens so often that it's losing the, yeah. In a way, it's unfortunate. You know, yeah. like when we were talking about 2019, the, yeah. I think, gosh, dude, I personally yeah, yeah. think that the, 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 the racism type yeah. stuff, yeah, ev- ev- everything that could be, I mean, they're saying math is racist. You know, yeah, when yeah, you, yeah. When, you look back on that and you go, yeah, you, what you don't want to be, it sucks I, because it's, 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 it's like now when there's it's a so real problem, yeah, yeah. Now, when there is a real problem, it yeah. will be. It won't. It won't. It won't see the light that it should see yeah. because it, it is. It's just been this. hammered. Yeah, and which I've like, dude. There, like, there was like Harvey Weinstein and Bill Cosby, and like there was real. There was real yes. people doing bad things, and you. But if you lump these like words that are like, like the the, the wording of these like are so aggressive that are like, all right, either say say it or don't. Mm-hmm. You cause you can't just lump these people in with abuse and like mental turmoil and like manipulation. Mm-hmm. And like you can't say that. What you can't just but it's so those words are so scary. They're well they I guess what I'm saying you is are the racist word is like that's losing the word is losing yeah. its its value. Yeah. You know, and yeah. sexual yeah. allegations. What does that even mean? It's exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I mean, it, it, I can't, it happens every week. I mean, yeah. Russell Brand just went through it and yeah. it's, it's every time somebody does something that yeah. people don't like, yeah. you're either a racist yeah. or you have sexual allegations against yeah. you. It's like, it's losing. It's, it's just. And now, every, and now everybody's like, all right. Dude, it's like it's the a, little boy that cried wolf story. Yeah. Yeah, and unfortunately, unfortunately, for the real victims, for yep. the real, there is real racism. That's what I'm getting at. It's, like you didn't post a black square on your Instagram. You're racist. Stop. Yeah, you're you're you're. It's so disingenuous to the actual racism that's going on and the actual abuse that's going on. Or the I mean, this is this is not the battle to be fighting. Mm-hmm. And no, and not one person on that other side that is, I've, I've, it's, you've diluted the word into nothing. Yeah. Unfortunately. By overuse. Yeah. yeah. And sexual allegations, you have diluted the actual act yeah. into nothing yeah. because nobody knows what's real yeah. anymore. And you you're know? not, and yeah. that is a, that's a shame. But it's, and it's, and it's based in the whole thing. I like that you bring up racism because the same type of thing is in um, based in shame. So like the left always like anti fat shaming, anti slut shaming, anti there's no shame, but the shame is is their greatest weapon mm-hmm. against someone. Like now there's no shame, right? So it's now what is what is if you talk in Bible terms, what is now what was in the dark is now in the light. So I'm good. Mm-hmm. Or I'm not, there's no, I, the, the moment that that story came out, that's the best I ever slept in years. Really? Best I've slept in years, dude. And I go, well, whatever happens now, it happens now. There's no, sh- there's no, and there's nothing in the article, obviously, or, or there's nothing of merit in the article. There's a bunch of he said, she said, and I was like, I wish I wouldn't have never acknowledged it. It would just fizzled out. Yeah. Possibly, yeah. I, I, you know. I mean, it also says that you were virtually shut out from just about every church. Yeah. After the, yeah. I mean, are you still shut out? Uh, yeah, in a lot of ways. I don't. You never went back, did you? No, I haven't. It's uh, 
it's it's that the relationship with religion is tricky because the Christian community, the real Christian community that was around me, saved my life. So I mean, dude, I was getting texts and letters in rehab by the hundreds. Dude, we love you. Same thing with you. Everybody makes mistakes. Um, we support you. Anything we can do for you, you let me know. I was getting so built up and so encouraged, but publicly I was getting just crushed. So it's tricky for me to say I've abandoned those people because I those people kept me alive. The people in the church, if you go to church, there's a there's a whole group of Christian people currently that love you, that love your work. They just aren't saying it, but they they listen to your podcast and follow you. And they but there's also a very vocal, very very minority group of people that are vocal about you, the loud ones. And yeah. these aren't them. These don't represent them. They're not. The, they're they're they don't wish for reconciliation or forgiveness. If they posting publicly about you they wish for your destruction. Uh They wish for your embarrassment, for your shame and your destruction. If somebody, I've gotten gotten private DMs from people that said, hey, we love your comedy. Uh, We just thought that this joke was offensive because we have, and I'll listen to that because that's someone that is trying to help. That's a fan. If somebody, if you say something incorrect on this podcast, somebody will message you privately. Hey, I just want to let you know that that, didn't happen like that or happened like that. You can correct this if you want, but that's someone trying to help you. Someone tweeting at you publicly is trying to crush you. They are not for your good. And so if you say, hey, have you, has the Christian community outed you? The Christian community kept me on earth. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.